Fort Meade residents are getting ready for Halloween festivities. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll take a look at the upcoming Halloween calendar in a moment. Also this week, the chapel celebrates 80 years. More on this year's Army-Navy game. Boss has a big ski trip lined up. We'll have these stories and more, but first, this week Fort Meade hosted the Installation Management Command's first Cyber Installation Support Summit. According to Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley, senior leaders from the Army staff, IMCOM, and the Joint Service Cyber Commands spent an entire day discussing projected growth at Fort Meade, Fort Gordon, and Fort Belvoir. Colonel Foley said the summit is important to Fort Meade because the Army wasn't tracking cyber growth at Fort Meade, but was instead focused on the growth of the Army Cyber Command at Fort Gordon. According to UNCOM officials, this week's event was just the beginning as preparations continue for the Army Chief of Staff Cyber Growth Update due the first week of December. In other news, Fort Meade's Main Post Chapel celebrated an historic 80th anniversary during a special service last weekend. Chaplain Brigadier General Charles Bailey, the Army's Deputy Chief of Chaplains, was the guest speaker. Bailey called the historic Main Chapel, dedicated in 1934, an illustrious building of history. The chapel is considered a lasting memorial to the men and women who have fought and died in wars around the world. For more on the chapel's 80th anniversary, pick up a copy of the October 23rd edition of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. Elsewhere, one more reminder about this year's Army-Navy flag football game. It's coming up November 4th. The game is being filmed by USAA for use during the actual Army-Navy game in Baltimore in December. And after years of Army domination, the Navy exacted a measure of revenge in last year's blowout victory. And in a game that seems to get bigger every year, event sponsors MWR and the Anne Arundel West County Chamber of Commerce are being joined this year by USAA. USAA, a primary sponsor of the National Army-Navy game being held December 13th this year at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, will be filming game action and audience reaction for use in television spots that will be aired during the big game on December 13th. Other attractions this year include a giveaway of a 50-inch television and, of course, plenty of tailgate food. This year's game, usually held in December, is scheduled for Tuesday, November 4th at Mullins Field next to Gaffney Gym. The tailgate starts at 3 with kickoff at 4. For more information, go to www.ftmeetmwr.com. In a related story, the Army-Navy game is part of Military Family Appreciation Week, November 3rd through the 8th. MWR has a full slate of events scheduled, including a lunch buffet, a family swim meet, a big Family Appreciation Day event at the Youth Sports Complex, and much more. Once again, you can go to www.ftmeetmwr.com for all the details. In more sports news, DFMWR is looking for volunteer coaches for the winter season. Volunteers are trained and certified through the National Youth Sports Coaches Association. Volunteers receive free training and certification through the National Youth Sports Coaches Association. If you're interested, contact Child Youth and School Services at 1900 Reese Road or call 301-677-1179. Next Friday is Halloween, and here are just a few reminders. First of all, Halloween trick-or-treating hours for on-post housing are from 6 to 9 p.m. In the meantime, Corvius Military Living is inviting all post residents to participate in the annual Halloween decorating contest. Judging will take place next week, with the winners being named on the 30th. There are just a few rules to keep in mind. First, safety is number one. All decorations should not pose a fire threat and should be approved by the underwriter's lab. No decorations should be placed on the roof, and outdoor lights should be hung with approved plastic clips along the roof line. Finally, all decorations should be removed on your designated lawn care days and within two weeks after the holiday. Contact your local neighborhood center for more information. One other reminder, the Religious Services Office Annual Hallelujah Festival is coming up October 31st from 6 to 8 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. It's for kids ages 3 to 12, and please, no scary costumes. There will be plenty of food, fun, and games. Once again, the Hallelujah Festival is from 6 to 8 p.m. on Halloween. And finally, on this edition, a reminder from MWR and better opportunities for single service members or boss. They're planning a ski trip to Smuggler's Notch, Vermont, January 16th through the 19th. Smuggler's Notch has a vertical drop of 2,600 feet, the fourth largest in New England. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. When technology and people come together, anything is possible. In racing, it's all about increasing speed and efficiency. The same is true for VA's disability claims process. Veterans can now file an electronic fully developed claim or e-claim and get a faster claims decision. Don't get stuck using old technology. File an e-claim. Learn more at ebenefits.va.gov. Welcome to life in the fast lane. E-claims and e-benefits. Online VA claims made simple.